James, thank you. I'm joined now by St. John Fisher College political science professor Kathleen Donovan. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Your reaction to the debate, obviously, the, as James said, the gloves came off early and it stayed that way throughout. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the heat of the campaign season. There was a lot of negativity last night. Um, Cuomo, in particular, really came out attacking Molinaro, and I, I felt like Molinaro was on his heels a lot. Um, and also, the moderators didn't do necessarily a great job of reining Cuomo in. He really talked over time a lot. He did do that. Uh, and we saw in that clip that we showed, he really hammered away at the Trump issue, and Molinaro, in my estimation, didn't seem quite ready for how he wanted to respond to that. Yeah, which or is, it was conflicted. You sure, which is a bit odd, right? Because this is a huge talking point in all of the races this year. Um, and it really strikes me as sort of, uh, here's a New York Republican, here's a guy who isn't even willing to say on record that he supports Trump. Uh, when you have folks um, like DeSantos, who's running for governor down in Florida, um, and Brian Kemp in Georgia, who are basically trying to out-Trump one another. Um, and so it's a very different contrast uh, compared to some of the other governor's races. This debate had a very, in my estimation, a heavy New York City feel about it. A lot of downstate issues talked about the MTA in particular. They spent a lot of time on not a lot of talk about upstate. Uh, were we left out in this debate? Yeah, and I think that that's, you know, I've only lived in New York State for about four and a half years here, but this is something I learned right away, that upstate gets forgotten um, and even sees statewide races. And the fact that it only came up because we we're talking about the Bills Stadium, I'm not even sure that that's really a, an important upstate issue. Is it a function of just the fact that the, the volume of voters are concentrated in the tri-state area? Yeah, I think that, and also the political power in Albany is also drawn largely from New York City. So I, I genuinely think they honestly forget Get about upstate voters quite often, which is obviously frustrating for a lot of voters. Ultimately, did Molinaro uh, do enough? Uh, he's down heavy in the polls. Did he do enough to try and bridge that gap and make it more of a race as we head toward Election Day? Um, because I saw him as on his heels a lot, I don't know that he moved the needle uh, tremendously. I would say there was a poll that came out just last week that showed something like 40% of New Yorkers didn't have a favorable or unfavorable opinion of him. So I think that this was an opportunity for him to just get his name out there and have more people sort of hear his message. So I think that that was beneficial. Um, but at the end of the day, New York State is a very heavily Democratic state. And so was he winning over voters in that debate? I'm not sure about that. We'll find out on November 6th.